Good morning and welcome to Master Trader, where you can learn to use simple market and stock analysis to make money investing and trading. I'm Greg Capra, and today we're going to discuss some special price patterns that I use every day. One of those patterns is combining multiple time frame analysis and looking for when they are in alignment. That is when the best odds are going to be in your favor. The two charts we're looking at here are of the S&P futures. One is a daily chart. The other is an intraday chart. And you can see the vast difference between the two. One looks like it's setting up to go lower, the one on the right. And the one on the left looks like it's consolidating, setting up to go higher since the trend is up. In other words, you have two opposing trends here at the moment. The message here is to stay away unless you're an intraday trader, of course. From the daily trader's perspective, we're waiting for this consolidation to be over and to show itself which way it's going to go. Well, the assumption is that it's going to go up since the trend is up. However, let me point out a few things here to you that we teach students to do without the colorful indicators. So what we can see here is that this move here had very strong momentum out of this consolidation. And the way we do that is to look at the distance between where it started and where it ended. Now this one, look at where it started and where it ended. Look at the distance. It's much smaller. So the momentum has slowed down. Now, those that use indicators and would have some type of an oscillator down here will show you something like this, which is called a bearish divergence. Now that doesn't mean it won't go higher. It just means that the momentum is stalled, but indicators users will typically show something like this after the fact and then show how prices went down because of the divergence. And that is not the case. Momentum slows down and it speeds up and this could just go sideways and then resume its uptrend. We really don't know yet. What we are really interested in is whether it can hold this minor resistance area or whether it goes down to this major, I should say minor support, or whether it hold, holds this major support area. If it cannot, well then it will have violated the trend and those that use the uptrend lines will say, well, there's the trend break. We teach simple rules on how to analyze trends, momentum, and so on, and multiple time frames, and put that together in a simple, understandable method. Now, back to the hourly chart here. It's coming up into a minor resistance area, and that is where the battle intraday is going to take place as to whether sellers, which obviously there were sellers here, whether they're going to try and take control again from those buyers that stepped up in this area of support. Prices move between reference points of support and resistance. They're not based on drawing lines on charts Let's get a line here. Lines on charts like this, where it's break, and then you're told that that line that you drew <clears throat> is now supposed to become resistance. That is ridiculous. And so we use price analysis, trends of those uh, prices, and multiple time frame alignment to put the odds in our favor. Now, let's look at one more thing before we continue. And I want to look at the NASDAQ futures here. And what's happening at this moment is we had a move up into this resistance area. And so far, this is bullish price action, meaning it's going sideways at resistance versus pulling back. So while it's stalled here and has done nothing over the last four days, and today is just beginning, but while it's done nothing over a few uh, four days, it's holding at this area of resistance. And that type of price action typically will result in a move higher. And the thinking behind that is prices have moved up several days in a row. The wide range bar here ended that move as it typically does. But rather than pulling back, buyers continued to step up after several days up into an area of resistance. And that's bullish price action. 
And now we're waiting to see if prices will actually break out. So while we have two vastly different charts, whether the S&Ps, the S&P 500, or the NASDAQ, so far the communication is pretty much the same based on the daily chart. The S&Ps, the momentum slowed down, but it's consolidating here so far. And the NASDAQ is going sideways at this resistance. So we wait for this consolidation, sideways correction to resolve itself. And from a daily chart perspective, you're standing aside. If you're an intraday trader, you can find trades almost every single day. Hope that helps. We'll talk next week. Have a great weekend. Make sure you subscribe to the channel.